Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem 2 from IMC 2022. So this gives us an equation and asks us to find all uh, n by n matrices satisfying that equation. So here is the statement. Let n be a positive integer. Find all n by n real matrices A with only real eigenvalues satisfying A plus A to the k equals A transpose for some integer k greater than or equal to n and A transpose as usual denotes the transpose of A. Okay, so let's kind of start with what might be seen as the most natural thing to do for this problem. It was certainly the most natural thing to do for me. So I started with uh, taking an eigen pair and using that eigen pair. So let lambda comma v be an eigen pair of a. So I know lambda is real and v is also a real um, n by one uh, vector. So what we know is that uh, if I multiply both sides by v, I would get a v plus a to the k v is equal to a transpose v. Now, because lambda is an eigenvalue um, and v is an eigenvector, a v is lambda v and a squared v is lambda squared v, a to the power of k v is lambda to the power of k v. This is a well-known fact about um, eigenvector and eigenvalues, um, so you can use that. I will explain why that works at the end of the video. And this one is A transpose V. Now I was hoping that I can get rid of A transpose. I remember that if I have A V equals lambda V, I can take the transpose of both sides. So let me write it down. A V equals lambda V. If you take the transpose of both sides, you get V transpose A transpose equals lambda V transpose. So this is nice because if I multiply both sides by V transpose from the left, I would get V transpose lambda V transpose V plus lambda to the power of K V transpose V equals V transpose A transpose V. Now the one on the left of uh, v is equal to lambda v transpose. If we look at this one, if you find if you take a vector and multiply by its transpose, so if v is a vector x1 through xn and multiplied by v transpose, which is like this, you get v transpose times v becomes the sum of xi squared, i equals 1 to n. And this is just the magnitude of v squared. This is for real vectors. So I'm going to use this fact. This is again a well-known fact. You can just use that. So this is lambda. Um, in fact, this part cancels. So I'm going to use it for the other part. This is lambda to the power of k, magnitude of v squared. That's equal to 0. So this tells us that lambda is equal to zero. In other words, what I showed is that all eigenvectors, all eigenvalues of A are zero. Therefore, um, all eigenvalues of A are zero. Okay, so how would that in fact help? Uh, since all eigenvalues are zero, we know that the characteristic polynomial would look like x to the power of n. Thus, p of x equals determinant of xi equals a would be just x to the power of n. This is the characteristic polynomial of a. By Katie Hamilton, a to the power of n becomes zero because if you plug in the matrix into its characteristic polynomial, you end up getting zero. But k is more than n or equal to n. That means a to the power of k is zero. So we're going to take that and plug it back into the original equality. a plus a to the k is equal to a transpose. This is given and that implies that A must be A transpose. So what we have is a real matrix, thus 
A is a real symmetric matrix. Now, a real symmetric matrix, there is a theorem that tells us that real symmetric matrices are diagonalizable. Thus, by a theorem, A is diagonalizable. However, we just showed that all eigenvalues of A are just zero, since all E values of A are zero, A becomes P, a diagonal matrix, but all of the elements in the diagonal are zero, P inverse, which is zero. And this means A is equal to zero. And clearly A equals zero does satisfy the given equality. I'm going to actually mention that because that should be part of the solution technically, although that's kind of obvious. Clearly, A equals zero satisfies A plus A to the power of N equals A transpose. So the answer is in fact H, uh, A equals zero. Okay, so I used two facts here, more than two facts, but uh, these two may be a little bit uh, less well known. One of them was this one, v, v equals x1 through xn and V transpose equals x1 through xn uh, um, horizontally. Then when you do the uh, multiplication of matrices, you get sum of xi squared. The other one is that if a v equals lambda v, then a squared v equals lambda a v and a v is lambda v, so that would be lambda squared v. And do that again, you end up getting a to the power of kv equals lambda to the power of kv. So this is another fact that I used. I also used the fact that symmetric real matrices can be diagonalized, and that is also a well-known fact about matrices. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Let me know what kinds of topics you are interested in, and I will be happy to make videos on those topics. My focus is on preparing students for math competitions and I will see you in another video.